Hi everyone, my name is Honkit and yesterday I have a very good idea for our video assignments. So today we are going to have our group members, Visagans, our group leaders, Tashas, Huiyin, Hai Gauss, and also me myself to do a 10 push up challenge for the video assignments. Okay, let's go. Okay, actually, these activities can be applied to three LOs of our STEM course, which are analysis system using free body digress methods, use equilibrium based analysis for various structures, employ moment of inertia based analysis for problem solving. Okay, we are going to explain to you how we are going to apply it in these videos. Okay, let's go. Hello, viewers, I'm Isagan here. So, today I'll be explaining or presenting about the push-up exercise and the principles behind it from the um, statics point of view. And as you can see in this slide, my good friend Honkyat is actually performing a or carrying out a normal push-up by lowering down his body to the ground. And from here, you, we, uh, we can conclude or draw a free body diagram uh, and label the forces of the free body diagram. And of course, uh, the forces, there are uh, reaction forces that are present here on his hand and also on his feet, as well as the weight force which acting downwards to the ground. And of course, this weight force can be um, calculated using the formula weight equals to mg. And by multiplying these values, you will get approximately about 510.12 newtons of force. As well as what differs here in these three body diagrams are the distances. And as you can see, there are uh, distances from the center of mass. Oh, by the way, uh, the center of mass, the x here represents the center of mass. And of course, uh, the distance from the center of mass to the hand is 0 0.255 meters. And the distance from the hand to the head is 0 0.52 meters, as well as the cent uh, distance from the center of mass to the feet is. Uh, 0 0.965 meters and of course uh, these forces can be cancelled out each other and can be formed uh, using an equation a simple equation where the reaction forces of hand and feet together added together equals to the weight force acting downwards so the further the i mean the calculations behind it and uh, the calculation behind the push-up is can be further will be further explained by my fellow teammates in the later part of the video and that's all for me thank you hi my name is no so today we will we gonna talk about normal push-up so uh this this slide shows the home key app doing push-up and it shows the and there's an hand or normal force or hand and feet and at the center of mass there's Weight, which is 52 uh, multiplied by gravity which is 9.81 newton so this is a calculation for normal push-up using equilibrium con uh, equation so this is in hand the distance here is 0 0.255 meter and distance here is 0 0.965 so uh, the first step is fy equal to 0 so n hand plus n feet minus w equal to 0 0 and n hand plus n feet in minus uh, 52 uh, multiplied by gravity so we use a uh, moment of hand equal to 0 so uh, negative w uh, we uh, multiply by 0 0.255 plus n feet 0 point and multiply by 0 0.255 plus 0 0.965 so n feet is 106.62 newton and the third step is subtract n feet into f y equal to 0 and the n hand we will get n hand equal to 403.5 n hi honkat here again after seeing the normal push up how about the incline and decline push up is it harder or is it easier before the calculations we need to understand the change of center of mass. Yes, from this video, we could see that the when the arm angle increases, the center of mass will move upwards. Um, 
During the incline push-ups, the angle of arm is actually lesser compared to normal ones will move downwards and have a new center of mass at here. Here is the new free body diagrams for the incline push-ups and we can use the same approach to find the normal reaction force at the hands as Haikao did before. First, we find the summation Fy equals to zeros to have one equation and we find the summation moments at one point we use the hand equals to zeros and we'll have the negative for the clockwise rotations and the positive uh, force for the anti-clockwise rotations will have the normal reaction of this equals to 214.15 newtons and we start back the normal reaction of our feet back to our hands we, ha we can find the normal reaction force of the hand equals to 295.97 newtons it's actually e easier compared to normal push-ups okay how about the incline push-ups is it harder or easier than the normal one? You all can try to solve it using the same approach as I explained before. But please remember that the center of mass will move upwards when the angle of the arms increases. Here is the free body diagram for it. You can pause the videos for the calculations. And here is the answer. Do you all get it correct? And Chahuing, now I want to talk about the moment of inertia with respect to Y. So this structure is come from the part of forearm and arm. We consider both of the forearm and arm is the rectangular shape. And then the X axis is aligned with the floor and then the Y axis is aligned with the shoulder. So we consider the first rectangle is the part of forearm and then the second rectangle is the part of the arm. So the dimension for the first rectangle, the base is 5cm which is 21cm minus 16cm and the height is 21cm. And for the second rectangle, the base is 21cm and the height is 8cm which is 29cm minus 21cm. So now we calculate the moment of inertia with respect to y for the first rectangle. So we use the formula which is i bar y is equal to 1 over 12 bqh. I bar y is the moment of inertia with respect to centroid of the rectangle. So we substitute the value of b and h and then we get the value of 218.75 cm power of 4. So based on the parallel axis theorem, i y is equal to i bar y plus a d squared because the y axis is further away from the centroid of the rectangle. So a is the area of the rectangle and then b is the distance from the centroid to the y axis and then we substitute the value and get the answer which is 36,155 cm power of 4. Now we will discuss on how to calculate the moment of inertia with respect to y for rectangle 2. So as mentioned earlier, the base of this rectangle is 21 cm. The height of this rectangle is 8 cm. We'll be using the formula 103 bqph to calculate the moment of inertia with respect to y. After substituting in the values, we got 24,696 cm 4. Next is the summation of moment of inertia with respect to y by adding up iy1 and iy2 to obtain 60,851 cm 4. This shows the total moment of inertia with respect to y of the arm and forearm. So the radius of gyration can be calculated using the formula square root of total moment of inertia with respect to y divided by the area of the whole model, which is 273 centimeters square. The radius of gyration will be 14.93 centimeters.